Good morning, I'm Charlotte Galeste. And I'm Rob Starberg with your Channel 2000.com headlines for Thursday, January 3rd. Students from Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut will be back to school today. It is their first day in school since a shooter killed 20 of their classmates and six of their teachers and administrators. Classes will resume at the former Chalk Hill School in the neighboring town of Monroe, now renamed Sandy Hook in honor of the victims. Workers have spent the past couple of weeks getting the school ready for the students. The 113th Congress will be sworn in today, facing many challenges right away. First is the uh, residue from the fiscal cliff debate. Legislation was passed late Tuesday night, but lawmakers are not happy about it. The House signed off on a bill to prevent a middle class tax hike and delay automatic spending cuts. It does not include spending cuts, Social Security and Medicare reform or an extension of the payroll tax cut. That's something the new Congress will tackle in the next coming months. Top State Assembly Republicans say a new mining bill is the first thing they'll bring up next week when their session begins. And Governor Walker says he's open to tweaking last year's failed bill as long as it creates jobs. Republicans are trying to woo Florida-based Gogebic Taconite to build a mine south of Lake Superior. The governor toured the state telling Green Bay workers that a new mine would create 2,800 new mining and manufacturing jobs in the state. Last year, mining legislation passed the assembly but bogged down in the Senate because of environmental concerns. And this has been a Channel3000.com update.